Never hire a depressed exorcist. They're not very good at lifting spirits. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the deal. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today's guest is a special guest for me. She is one of my favorite singers, voices, personalities. I love everything about her. You may recognize her from going viral a few years ago. Now she has two albums out, one of them which is brand new and available everywhere now. It is called The Encounter. Give it up for Brie Fabino. Terrell! If you feel an anointing throughout this interview and you feel it, please. This quarantine, how oh are my you God. coping through the quarantine? I am introvert. Okay. However, this is a little bit too much. <laughs> I'm yes. ready to get outside and like, I don't even care what I'm gonna go and do, but I yeah. need to go and do something. Let me give you some backstory. I'm gonna sit like this today because I'm talking to Brie. <laughs> Is this all right? Can I sit like this? Am I in frame? You look good. Okay, cool. So I was old enough to remember <laughs> when Justin Bieber posted that video of you singing. That was crazy. On Instagram. That I was crazy. That. I have never felt more connected to the Biebs in my <laughs> life. I said, oh, Biebs knows what's that up. That was know, so Bree. crazy. He posted the video, and I kid you not, a couple of days after that, my account got hacked. Uh, <laughs> I was like, thank you, Justin. I knew you. I know you started singing when you were very, very young. You're a preacher's kid. Um, in the church from the very beginning. But I hear that you didn't want to sing professionally. Boy, no. What? No. With no. that voice, you never, it never even crossed your mind? No, singing was never a part of the plan. Literally, I was going to college. I was trying to become a lawyer. I wanted to be a lawyer. Uh, I had a scholarship. She rests her case. No, seriously. Like, I was an athlete in school. Like, that, I ran track, played basketball, did volleyball, and I ran on the collegiate level. And literally, yeah. like, I was in college to become a lawyer. So when all of this happened, it's funny how God works. Come on, uh-oh. When, when all of this happened, I was like, no, no, God, not this. Mm. Because I sung in church, not because, you know, people like to sing in church because they can sing, but I sung because it was a need. Like they yeah. needed singers to, to sing, you know? So that's why I did it. But I was always shy um, to sing in front of people. People had to mm. always like, I would have panic attacks literally before I would get up and sing. Like that's how bad it was. So you mean to tell me that video, that now famous video of you sitting on that couch, that tan couch, I even got the image in my, we'll throw it up for y'all at home so y'all yes. can see it. At that point in your life, you had no intentions of becoming a singer professionally. No. no. That is wild. Bree, I'm going to tell you something, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. In 2016. That seems so long ago. I know, right? It was four years ago. That was not my favorite year. That was a rough year for Terrell, okay? Okay. And I think that was also the year where I, I was always, you know, connected to my spirituality, but I really mm -hmm. went for it in 2016 because I was going through so much. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a playlist that I still play all the time, but I made it in 2016. And your song, My Everything, is like the... I think the second or third song on that playlist. Yes. It's, it's, it's early in there. Because yes. I have to tell you, the lyrics of that song um, reminded me that though I was feeling like I was losing everything, yeah. I still had everything. Yes. As long as That's I- That's powerful. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you so much for beautifully articulating that vibe for my moment. Did you write it? So my manager wrote the song for his wife. Really? It was a love song that he wrote for his wife. 
uh, well, his fiance at the time. And um, he let me listen to it. And I was like, this, this is something good. We definitely need yes. to do that. And so we flipped it and we made it gospel. Won't he do it? Won't he do well, it? Won't he will? Won't he, won't he will? Won't he give you won't the ear to will? recognize <laughs> when there's a when there's a blessing in yes. another song? Okay. If I lost everything and didn't have anything, and you were the only thing, I'll still have everything. Woo. I have a little game here. Make. Oh, um. Make me over again. Make me over again. I need a brand new start. Make me over again. Yeah. Make me over. Here, and that's H E R E. Wait, 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 wait. H E R E? Yes. Oh, God. Here, here. Here. You got this, you got it. <clears throat> Here? <laughs> I don't know. No. Pass. I want that one. You lost that Here? one. Here? It's too early to lose. I'm still on my easy column. You. Y O U. You. Yes. Oh, you are so beautiful me can't you see you're everything i hope for you're everything i need because yeah. you are so beautiful to me all right you see you see why i said she one of my favorite singers do you see what i'm saying to you I almost forgot those words, though. And it's just so effortless. She's like, all right, cool. She has a brand new album out called The Encounter. I heard it in my shower this morning. I almost slipped. What's your favorite song on the album? Can you sing a bit from the album? I don't care what yeah. song it is, you pick. Yes, so um, the album came out on April the 3rd. Yes. Um, it's my sophomore project. We did a live recording in New Orleans on last May of last year. Mm -hmm. I'm super, super excited about it. Um, I asked God what he wanted um, from his people. And he told me that he wanted his people to have an encounter with him, an encounter that would literally change their current situation. My favorite song on the encounter would have to be a song called We Want More. It features yep. our artist by the name of Psalmist Rain. And mm -hmm. I co-wrote that song with um, Aaron Moses and Dante Bo. That's the one I almost slipped on. It's a good on. time. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. <laughs> it's a Your good word, time, I'm telling you. Your word is we or want or more. You pick. OK, so um, we are ready. Come do what you want to do. We are hungry, we give all in full pursuit of you, cause we want more, oh, yes, we want more, oh, get the whole, get those songs so you can hear it in its full Please, entirety. I'm gonna put everything in the, on the, the in the bottom of the screen or in the description box. <laughs> click away at this click, album. Click, click. Because click. it's so, so good. I love that song. Another one of my favorites is called He Paid It All. I done yes. blew that out today. He paid it all. He paid it all. Now I'll never be the same. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Peace like a river that's ever flowing. Hope like a flood and it won't be contained. We say hallelujah. It's a good time. You know what song I used to sing all the time? What? It's not gospel though. That's all right. What do you mean? <clears throat> 
Let me get ready. <laughs> what am I about to do? Let me get ready. Oh my God, you I'm ready? so excitable. I'm so excitable. <laughs> what is okay. it? Let's see. If I could throw the towel in, baby, i Yes. Because I'm in love with someone else. And I know it ain't right. Hey, yeah. I love that song. You should go and find someone else who could treat you right, give you the world. Someone who understands the man you are, cause baby, you shine so bright, and I would just dim your star. A girl who could treat you like you treat them, but I know there's many women who would love to have a man like you. But I'm in love with someone else. I love that little song. You are up there in front of all these stages and, and all these churches at the young tender age of 25. How does that feel? I feel for me, I have a lot of eyes on me and yeah. people assume that just because you you're in church and you're singing about gospel, everything is supposed to be perfect. You're supposed to be perfect. You're not supposed to have make mistakes or Speak. anything like that. And I think I think people have need to really grow up and really, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um look at the bigger picture and it's like, bro, we all fall from grace. We all fall Come on. every single day. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I mess up all the time, mm -hmm. you know? And I think when you put certain stipulations and certain standards on people, you make it harder for them. It shouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? Like your Christian life and your Christian walk shouldn't be hard. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? It's, and it shouldn't be dictated by other people. I think about this quite often, actually, when I think about all of the young people um, who are leaders in the gospel community, um, the extra level of scrutiny that you guys yeah. go through. You, you have your artist just being an artist, just being a public figure, you have that scrutiny, and that's enough. And then on yeah. top of that, you have it's scrutiny from who, who you would consider your own camp, <laughs> you know? Definitely, and definitely. That's, how, do you, how do you balance, you know, being young and growing up as just a human being with all of that? When I first got into this, I was concerned about um, people's, other people's opinions and what other people had to say about me. But as I um, continue to go through this journey and this path, I began to like not even care what anybody thought about me, what anybody had to say about me, because at the end of the day, you don't have a heaven or a hell, heaven or hell to put me in. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. Was there ever a time where the pressure got so thick that you wanted to quit? In 2016, I, I got engaged, mm. right? Mm-hmm. So I got engaged in 2016 and I was on like carpets with this person. Um, I kind of, you know, had him on my social media, um, everything like that. I kind of brought him into my, into my world and allowed my fans, you know, to know who he was. So when that relationship, when I ended that relationship, I was thinking about, oh my God, I can't believe I allowed this person to get so close, so attached to me and my ministry and everybody who, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then we didn't work. People, people knew who he was and it's like, dang, now I'm feeling stupid because mm -hmm. it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So in that time, I got very, very depressed and I went through so much in that time frame where I did not want to do this anymore. And I didn't want to do it because of an embarrass embarrassment. Wow. Wow. Because I was embarrassed. I had to like detox myself. 
I, I had to cut, cut that individual off, cut everybody that was a part of that individual off because I needed to detox from that because I needed to gain, I need to gain my self-esteem. I needed to gain strength back because I had lost, I felt like I had lost everything, every part of me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it mm -hmm. wasn't until I, I released all of that and then God was really able to step in and really, you know, heal me from the inside out where I wasn't bitter anymore. I didn't, you know, I didn't talk about the situation anymore to anybody or anyone. I was really free from, free from him, free from everything. And I was able to then move on to the next chapter in the next phase. The, the presence that you have Thank when you. you are ministering on that microphone is ridiculous. What are you think? What is going through your head, Bree? I just feel like, who are you? I know you're talking to the Lord, but what is going Definitely on? Definitely that. So no, for me, like before, before I sing or before I grab any mic, my prayer to God is, what do your people need in this time? Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Give me the words to speak to them. Because I don't know what people are dealing with. I don't know what people are going through. You know, so I want to make sure that the words that are coming out of my mouth are coming straight from him. I'm singing, but I'm trying to I'm trying to listen for his voice to see yes. if he's gonna impart something in me to speak to you. What is what does Jesus sound like when he talked to you? Go ahead, imitate him real quick. Because everybody, you know, Jesus' voice oh is different God. for everybody. So what's okay. yours sound like? Uh-huh. Okay. We're not doing this. <laughs> we are not doing this. I don't really know if it's a different, it's kind of my voice. Oh, okay. Well, Ariana did voice. say God is a woman. I'm done. So I'm uh, done. <laughs> no, nope. I'm done. How about this word, heart? Heart. Um, yes. Oh, uh, heart. Give me a, can you, can you can't give me a hint? I mean, help. <laughs> That's the first help time me. anyone has ever asked for a hint. <laughs> oh my God, no heart. No one has ever asked for a hint. Song. Song? Yes. A song, the word song. Song, 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 song. Okay, give me, can you, can you give me a, a suggestion? <laughs> and then. But we're editing this. They don't have to know you gave me a song to sing. Brie, that's not how this game works. <laughs> you are the They don't need to know. Person. They don't need to know. He can give me and then we can, y'all can just cut what y'all need to cut, you know? That ain't need, how the game on. go, Brie. Well, let me tell you something. We need to be able to phone a friend. Brie. <laughs> that is you not are phoning fair. a friend right now. You on the phone with me. You can't, you only well, got one helping. line. <laughs> you're not helping. Okay, let's give you this word. Wait is the word. W-A-I-T, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Um. Uh -oh. Babe, what's, what's, a so what's the um, song that has wait in it? <laughs> Babe! Oh God, Paralypse! <laughs> I'm getting help. You need to be able to call a friend, phone a friend or something. I'm so dead. I cannot. We need to be able to do that. In the 60 Terrell, some odd fair. episodes that we've done. She's not even discreet. <laughs> no. I have never had a guest. Wait. Yell out. Bang! <laughs> What's the song? Wait! And he hasn't There's responded no song. yet. He don't know either. He's late! <laughs> He's late! I'm gonna be so mad. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, le okay, let me give you the word. Okay. Let's do, um, what have you done so far? <laughs> Darrell, wait! I'm hyperventilating! Breathe! Oh my God! 
You are my best friend, okay? <laughs> what was Do we the... do love? No, you want to do love? Okay, your word is we, love. We didn't do it? We didn't do it. Love, okay. Go ahead. Um, love, a word that comes and goes, but few people really know what it means to really love somebody. Oh, love, though the tears may fade away, I'm so glad your love will stay. Cause I love you and you showed me Jesus what it really means to love. Oh okay. yeah. So that's the word. So that took the place of wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not the only person that got a buzzer. I'm going down. I'm going down. Because you ain't around, baby. My whole world's up so down. Sweet and easy. But please believe me. Everything else. Mm -hmm. Did she just wait a minute? <laughs> You did not just take a sip of water. I needed wow. that. <clears throat> My throat was tickling. Your word is over. Over. Yes. Oh, uh, it's over now. It's over now. Cause I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. Mm. It's my favorite part. It's no more cloudy days. Cause they're all gone. Gone away. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. What is a song that you go to a worship song because you are you are a worship leader um okay. to the core what is the song that you go to when because i feel like sometimes you know even though you're a worship leader and mm -hmm. you're in front of the church full of people who are in need sometimes you as the leader are is also in need but you yeah. have to go out there and try to encourage other people so what is your go-to song when you're, you're going through? The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And then it says, I Amen. 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 And then she says, May his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children. Their children, their children, may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you, he is with you in the morning, in the evening, and you're coming and you're going and you're weeping, rejoicing. He is for you. He is for you. Go listen to that song. Literally, that song wipes me out every time. I bet your house every full time. of holy oil. It's got to be. Okay. Where you keep it? Where you keep okay. it? Well, I have some um, mm -hmm. olive oil Pam spray. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, what 
would you say, as a young person in, in ministry, to other young people who may have had a bad experience in the church and, and have decided to no longer participate, maybe young people who are not spiritual at all, um, people who don't really understand it, or maybe this just wasn't raised in it, um, and just you know not in that type of environment, but they're needing something, you know? Just not sure. What would you say to that group of people? Well, let me start with the people who was once there. For me, I can give you my testimony. There was a, there was a time um, before the video actually went viral in 2014, I um, went through something very traumatic in my life. I was talking to this guy um, and I ended up um, breaking my virginity with this guy. I ended up getting pregnant and I ended up having a miscarriage. And so I was dealing with all of that. I was dealing with the breakup, the miscarriage. I was dealing with, I left home and I was a praise and worship leader. And I got entangled into some things and everybody had something to say, but I couldn't let them stop me from getting in, you know, for me, stop me from getting in connections with God. Don't let anybody force you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people use a lot of churches use scare tactics to force you to serve God or, or, or get saved or, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. walk this Christian life. Don't let people do that to you. Don't, don't let people put fear in you to serve God. You, it, it, you shouldn't have, you should, that, that's, that's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people scare you into serving God. Don't. That does not work. Listen it doesn't me. work. It, 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 it doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens is you, you're scared into doing it because really it's not something that you wanted to do. You were scared. You were scared into doing it because of a message that somebody preached or they told you that, you know, you're going to die, whatever, whatever. Man, don't be forced. Don't be forced to serve him, man. He said, I am waiting for you with open arms. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting on you. Whenever you are ready, I'm here. God is going to love us unconditionally, regardless. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell And I folks. think, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's going to love you. And, I, and I'm, I say this all the time, bro. I'm so happy God is not like, man, like, he loves you beyond your faults, beyond what it is that you're going through. He loves you past your, your own, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, in, in your deepest, like, core, like, so, man, forget all of that. Serve him when you are ready, when your mind is made up, and when your heart is ready. I love stories of just, you know, overcoming what can feel like the worst. In our situation right now, there are people who are going through some of the worst times in their Definitely. life. There are families out there that I know, maybe even watching this video right now, who are who were on their last leg before they didn't yeah. get no more checks. Yeah. And you know, your story is proof that although this moment is happening right now, there mm -hmm. is always a morning. There is always a new day. Yeah. And um, thank you for candidly telling your story about how no your problem, faith pulled man. you through because that's going to bless a lot of people. Go get The Encounter. It is available everywhere, I am sure. Go and get it. Go and get it. There are gospel Go and get boppers it. all over that thing, OK? Drop it low It's going to bless you. Jesus. It's yes. going to bless you. <laughs> it's going to bless you. <laughs> She didn't hear what I said, and that's a good thing. Hey, thanks for watching Terrell at Home. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more, go to www.theterrellshow.com to get more.